not like you or me. So close. There's just something else in her liquor just in case. I only took this to the store. I've done it again. Whoa. Be still my heart. It's the girl of my dreams. Her face looks a little flushed. There you go again. Stop looking at other girls. I only do it to compare them with me. You know, why don't we hire that Merc to be our tour guy? Whoa. That is one hot chick. I can't wait for the next match. Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? Man, she's hot. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking. So dizzy. Gas. Uh, uh, Come on. <coughs> Damn it. Cloud. Hey, pretty ladies, too. Feeling a little lightheaded, but we can't have that. Let's say we escort you to the parlor, so you can make yourself more comfortable. Let's get this show on the road. Where are you taking us? Come on now, I'm not too lazy. Hey, maybe the pig, asshole. What the hell? You want to throw down the Corneo curve? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a horn. I know. Managed to wrangle some real lookers this time, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I got what I came for. What? So... After we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time. But then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here. 
right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. So what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. <laughs> no? Now ladies, listen up! I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin! Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Okay, my beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. <sighs> Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Wall Market's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? <laughs> oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! I've got it! Today's bride to be is... Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you! I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the Big Bone Girl! <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it! Oh yeah! The leftovers are all yours! Yeah! yeah! Okay! <laughs> okay, ladies! Y'all come with me. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Woo! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, 
praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself. Never forget, the Don provides. Yeah. Corneo! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Don't <laughs> oh, you stupid! Oh, wait! <laughs> Good job, Eric! It was nothing compared to you! <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? What? 
it already? Go you little punk! That's a win. <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes! Yes, I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> hey! Who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners, too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! Hmm. <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7 is gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> when they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all-expenses-paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs>
Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the Director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Read. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Damn it, Reeks. <sighs> 